guys so hello and welcome back to the youtube channel so i thought today um i'd kind of just like take you around with me while i'm working from home while i'm staying at home so this is kind of a vlog style video today um and i'm just going to be kind of walking you through what i'm doing working from home at the moment so i have my notebook here it's, this is just a, an inexpensive notebook that I had and I've just wrote down some video ideas that I really want to talk about on my channel and then I'm also going to sit down and write a to-do list of everything that I want to achieve today because I've got quite a few things that I want to just keep moving forward I want to keep working on one of them is a digital product focused Etsy productivity planner because I know you guys have been waiting on um, something like that a helpful tool that's not too expensive but would just really help you kind of structure your own digital product Etsy business and kind of help you get from the complete start points to making those sales and just keep you on track and that was something I was going to be creating anyway and I kind of stalled for a bit when obviously all of this started happening because it was just a lot of stuff going on in England um but my you know that is my goal is to create these products there's a couple of other ones that i'm working on as well and i'm going to just continue to push towards that and you know just continue focusing on the things that i can control which are the you know using my creativity to to create things that hopefully help other people and that's that's all i can do really and that's all my businesses have ever really done so that's what i'm going to keep doing so yeah i'm, I'm basically i all yesterday sat down and i i pulled out some paper and I just did what I always do when I'm about to create a product I sit down and I kind of just brain dump all over everything that I've ever thought about going into that product everything I think be helpful that I have done and I literally just break it down and I use obviously the resources that I've always used to help me kind of put it all together and I was quite proud of myself yesterday because I sat downstairs I sat in the sun and I just literally just figured out everything that needed to go into this planner and it kind of just cheered me up I think at the end of the day to kind of think so much going on my mind can still just focus and concentrate and and you know just come up and create something that I am proud of and that's important to me so yeah it'll be those videos and also there's a couple of other bits and bobs things I need to reply to emails and um, check in with the Facebook group and everything like that so I'm basically trying to just get back into the flow of moving forward with my businesses and just doing it as much as I feel comfortable doing it when I feel comfortable doing it and trying to find things that I really enjoy in my businesses that are kind of just going to bring me that bit of joy so that's what I'm trying to do today. Um, and right now, I'm going to stop this little bit of a video and I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I It's really great. I've spoken to quite a few of you guys who obviously have digital product business or I, I've, have been thinking about building a digital product business. And so many of you guys are like, right, I... I want something that I can really focus on so I'm going to you know just put my time and energy into something like a digital product business and it's something that when I'm putting my time into it it's not just re recreational it's something that can help me and my family in the future as well and you know, that's why I work on my businesses because I love the creativity side of things but I want to I want to be able to keep pushing them through as well anyway I'm off to go get a cup of tea and I'll take you guys with me and yeah and then we'll start the rest of the day working from home so I just thought I was kind of sorry, not the best angle here but I just thought I'd kind of talk you through like my thought process when I'm thinking about my to-do list and the things that I need to do and kind of maybe how I lay out my to-do list um, whenever I'm working from home which is pretty much every day because um, I work from home like I've worked from home for the last four years so it's pretty much every every day um, but basically I like to take a notebook it can be most of the time if I'm just jotting down my thoughts let me see if I can just angle this in a bit better so most of the time when I'm just jotting down kind of like general things that I want to do I just take kind of a, a more inexpensive notebook and the reason why I like notebooks is because then I can kind of look back over the months once I've filled a notebook up I can kind of look back and see all the things that I've achieved so I do like to keep um, kind of documentation of the things that I've done but you also probably might also know that I have a number of really nice beautiful notebooks and I keep those notebooks more for things like personal journaling or if I have like a big project that I want to do and I know exactly what I want to put in there to do this kind of just let me look back and see the things that I've achieved along the way so basically what I do is obviously start off with a fresh carriage and just find one first thing I do in the morning is I just write down obviously to-do lists sometimes 
I will put down the date, but sometimes I don't bother because it doesn't really bother me. I just want to be able to look back and see all the things I've achieved generally. And then the first thing that I do is just on a clean page, again, like I said, on just a in more inexpensive notebook, I just write down everything that is on my mind, everything that I'm thought about, I think, oh, I need to remember that. Um, I write that down in the morning. So things like, for example, I know I need to go through my orders, I need to um, create YouTube videos. I might even put the number that I'd like to hit. So for example, I'd like to create about five YouTube videos today. I'm just recording them, that's purely. I have create YouTube videos, edit YouTube videos, and schedule YouTube videos. And I know what step that means. So today, for example, is just about creating the content. Um, and then in a future day, when I've got my to-do list, I'll sit down and it would just be all about editing the content and then be all about scheduling the content the next time. I know I've got to do some work for the company that I work for. Um, that I work part time for. They're able to keep going at the moment, so obviously I want to just be there to support them as much as possible um, during all of this. I also, if I want to remember something, obviously I'm not near a notepad or something like that, I'll use my phone and I will just use the calendar in my phone. Um, and the calendar, if I can just show you, I'll just literally write down the next day, so for example today, anything that I know that I, oh yeah, I need to remember to write that down in my to-do list the next day, so I could just click on it, and it will tell me everything that I'm, that I'm missing. So for example, I know that I want to look into um, a membership site that uh, is something that is hopefully going to help me um, figure out some of the kind of more technical elements of a, pro a product that I want to create. So I just lean down so you can see me. I talked about this before. I always like to, as much as I possibly can, find resources and helpful tools that will help me create whatever product I want to create or achieve whatever goal I want to create or I want to do as, as fast and efficiently as possible because I know how much money you lose by trying to completely guess everything on your own, how much time you lose trying to guess everything on your own, how much energy you lose. And I, try, I did that in the past and now I know that for every successful product I've created, every successful business I've built, every successful kind of part of my business that I've created, it's because I've had help from others. And yes, I like to use like obviously watching other people's content and things like that. But if there's a specific kind of product or membership site or course or, or item that I know is really going to be helpful for me, then I do really like to do my research, make sure it's right for me and then use that to help me create that product or that or, or achieve that goal. So I know that there's one here that I'm currently looking at. So there's some emails that I have to look at as well today. I've got to call family members because um, they tried to call me last night. I just want to make sure everything's good and everything's fine with them. I'm sure it is. They said there was no problems, but I just want to be sure. Because I work from home and I've worked from home for many, many years, I know the pitfalls of working from home. And I know that one of them in particular it's forgetting to give yourself a break when you're really into something, when you're really being creative, when you're really working. So I do really like to also schedule in, for example, a one hour lunch break and tell myself the time that I'm gonna be having that lunch break. So for example, 1 p.m. today, I wanna just do that so I switch off completely from all the work that I'm doing and I can just kind of take a break from there. So I'm going to carry on filling out this to-do list. not going to make you go through every bit of it with me. Um, but then I'll see you in a bit when we actually sit down and start doing this work and basically putting everything in order. But something else I just wanted to quickly say is once I've created my whole list of my to-dos, I like to just put a little tick box next to each to-do. So if I just show you what I mean. You can see a little, just a little box that I put all the way along these to-dos and then I just, throughout the day, I just tick them off and it just gives me a feeling of a bit of accomplishment, like I've achieved that one, I can tick it off and then I can visually see. I also sometimes like to highlight that as well, if once I've done it, use a highlighter to highlight it. So I can literally see everything that I've achieved. So for example, with this one, I can see how much I got done, what things I need to, you know, reschedule for the next day and things like that. But yeah, just sort of kind of, let you into that really so i'm going to carry on having my cup of tea my battery's about to go so i'll see you um hopefully in the office when we are ready to get all this work done 
See you in a bit. So I am back in my office and hopefully I've got you set up in a way that you can actually kind of see how I work. So I have a big Mac, which at the moment I'm not really using that much. Um, I did use it for about two years when I started all of my online businesses and when I just started exploring with online business. Um, but then I kind of I decided when I had made enough money to feel comfortable doing it, I decided to invest in the MacBook Pro and I just literally fell in love with this. It took me a little while to get used to it, but now I absolutely love being able to just cart this anywhere. So I even use it when I'm on when I'm working at my desk. So I just thought I'd kind of show you how I set up my desk, like the, the way that I prefer to set up my desk. So what I like to have, I'll just quickly talk you through it all, is I like to have access to plenty of pens. My friend gave me this mug for, um, I think it was like a birthday or Christmas, I think. Um, and I just like to have plenty of pens, plenty of markers, highlighter, things like that, just because I like to work with paper and, and that kind of thing. I also like to keep plenty of paper to hand. I actually keep paper, um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but I keep paper in this little desk set here this little drawer set that i have here that my mum actually painted for me a while ago and i put these really cute flower handles on it and i keep paper and all loose paper and things in there because i don't really like the look of like actual office furniture so that's why i try and um just use nice key pieces that i found or that my mum's upcycled or something for me she's very good at stuff like that this is really for what i just want to jot down notes, scribbles, brainstorm on any, about anything or if I've got like a big project that I want to work on and I'll just grab a bundle of paper, sometimes staple it in the corner and then I just use this as a workbook or, or something to to kind of put everything together. So this is, I'm working on the um, Evenos Tribe at the moment. So for example, I was going through all the modules that I'm gonna add um, so that when someone comes on to that, the membership site, they have everything they need ready to go when it comes to building a digital product business. So I'm going through all the modules and they start with just kind of a, everything I know, everything I've ever done, everything that's worked, everything that is, you know, actually turns out to be the best way to do it rather than all of the mistakes that I've made. I like to sit down and just kind of put them together and that's what I use spare bits of paper for. I also have my to-do list, which is what I was talking to you guys about downstairs. I've filled it out, I've added the little, um, little tick boxes that I like to do and I've got my highlighter at the ready so that I can basically just work through this list today and tick things off like orders, talking to the Facebook group, looking at certain things like membership sites that I want to look at. I even have things in here that are just kind of for me as well so like I said um, I usually try and take about an hour lunch when I'm working from home and also I even note down things like meditation if I know that I want to listen to a meditation even if it's just in the background while I work or something like that just listen to calming music or something like that I like to put that on there so I can tick that off and I know that I've done something good for myself at least today and then I also like to keep my happy planner which I, I think I don't know if I've released the video yet where I talked to you a bit about this happy planner but I've had several happy planners but they are just my absolute favourite organising planner and this one especially kind of with the time that we're going through and, and all the stuff that we're going through this one is kind of becoming a bit of a journal as well so before any of this even kicked off really I started using it to kind of note down things that I was grateful for every day um, and like just make notes of things that I'm grateful for every day um, as well as like what I'm doing that day what I need to schedule and things like that so I'm definitely keeping up with that um, at the moment during this time just every day after I finish working at the end of the day I just wrote down something that I'm really really grateful for even if it's just something as simple as it being in the UK at the moment it's just we're having beautiful sunny days and you know just being able to work in a space that I've got quite a big window behind behind you um, and uh, just being able to work in a space where you can kind of see the sun and the light is wonderful but to be honest even when it's raining it can be really really like relaxing. I keep my planner open um, on my desk so that I remember to use it every day, I remember to look at it and reference it every day and then I also have my um, supplied by Lily to-do list as well which I like to just keep so that 
if I've got things that are super important and I forgot to list them down in my kind of everyday to-do list, but I know that for me, like for the whole month or something, it's something I've got to kind of fit in to that, that everyday to-do list and I'll put them, I'll list them here. And then I know that these have got to somehow migrate at some point during the weeks into my everyday planner. So yeah, that's what I have as well. I also have um, my water bottle, which is a glass water bottle, which I just keep filling up. This is, uh, I think, the 550 milliliters. So I try and fill this up four times a day, and then I feel like I've kind of at least, you know, attempted to get a good, decent amount of water. That's pretty much my kind of everyday essentials that I have on my desk. That I also kind of can gather all these things together, I can shut my laptop, take down my planner, my to-do list, some pens, and I can work pretty much throughout the house with those things, um, but I also kind of like to have them on my desk throughout the day, kind of make sure I have everything I need. So yeah, I'm gonna get on and do a little bit of work. I'm gonna start working through this to-do list, but yeah, so, I'm just gonna crack on with work for the rest of this. There's no point me kind of you just sitting here staring at me doing work all day. But I hope you enjoy this video. It's just, I suppose, some of the things and stuff that I get up to working from home. To be honest, even though I'm, obviously I'm doing this in you know isolation, to be honest, this is pretty much how I work from home anyway. The only thing I'd probably say is that sometimes when I'm normally working from home, I'll be maybe a little bit, bit more strict on how much time I take for a lunch break because for me it's like you know I need to get back on with working back on with doing but obviously during this time I'm quite happy just to give myself that break if I need that bit of a break from work I'm gonna let myself have it like I said I'm taking steps to try and just look after my mental health as much as possible and um, like I said just try and remind myself of things that I am really grateful for and also do things like meditation yoga anything that for me just feels helpful to my mindset and things like that. So that's just what I'm kind of adding into my everyday work routine anyway. But I hope you've enjoyed kind of coming to work with me. Um, I hope that I'll finish this up and just you'll just be seeing me do a little bit more work. I try and finish at about half five, six o'clock to go downstairs shut the door in my little home office that I have, or say for example, if I'm working in the, in, on the dining room table, pack everything up and then kind of separate myself from all of that. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope that however you are, if you are working from home or if you can't work from home, I hope that you have you know, as positive a mindset as you can and that you're looking after yourself both physically and mentally. And yeah, I hope that you find these videos enjoyable and helpful. And like I said, I'll, I can, I'm going to try and create as many as I can, but I'm going to also be going at my own pace with it. And, you know, just when I feel comfortable releasing content. But yeah, I hope that you enjoy these videos and I will see you in the next one, guys. See you soon. Bye.